excuse me, you're sick. What's up guys? It has been a while since I've vlogged again. <laughs> it's like I'm on a series of roller coasters just going up and down, up and down. <laughs> I'm finally free and I'm finally able to make casual vlogs again, I guess. So Today's Monday. It's a public holiday and yeah, I'm not doing anything much to be honest. I've just got done with my workout and yeah, it sucks that gyms are not allowed to open. I miss carrying weights so yeah, I mean I've disappeared for three months but you know what? I'm back. <laughs> Alright. I'll catch you as the day goes by and let's see what interesting things I do or maybe just nothing in general, you know? Okay guys, now it's um... Oh my eyes itchy. Give me a moment, I'm so sorry. Drinking water in the afternoon, scratching my eye. Now it's a... Uh, it's almost 7pm at night. Uh, practically I have been... I'm not doing much but I am just done filming. <laughs> A very ratchet skit. And yes, I'm going to name the playlist Ratchet Skits. It's gonna be up on my YouTube in a few days. <laughs> it's ratchet. Bad production. Weird um, plot lines. So that's why I call it ratchet. I am I even making sense? Sorry, I haven't been talking to the camera for a long time. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna clean up the mess. The mess. And yeah, I'm gonna go have my chocolate and some cakes and prepare for dinner. I'm kinda hungry. Yeah. I think this clip is going to be blurry as I'm seeing it from the viewfinder because it's dark in my room right now. But, um, so it's 11.45. And I'm so sleepy. I couldn't really sleep last night. I don't know why. I slept at like 2 a.m. And I was very tired. But I could not sleep. Good night. I can't talk anymore. It's 11 and I've just done my workouts. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go eat. Okay guys, so I've just done eating my lunch, cutting up some fruits, and doing all that boring stuff. Yesterday, my package finally came. This is my laptop battery. I've been wanting to change my laptop battery for quite a while now. I figured out I didn't want to bring it to the shop to change because I would need to pay the person to change the battery for me and then they'll charge me extra for the battery. Anyways, I got the HP Pavilion 15. That's my laptop battery for 120 ringgit. It's the original one from Shopee and I'm gonna attempt to change it by myself. Yes. Welcome to Tech with Junie where you will learn nothing but see Junie make a fool out of herself 
and hopefully not crash my own laptop because I still need to use it. So, yes, let's open this up and let's change the battery. So this is the battery, pretty cool. And I did open up my laptop the other day and I could assemble it back, luckily. And I kind of forgot how big the battery is, but I'll show you like the old battery in my laptop. It's kind of like overcharged because like it has been spoiled for quite a while and the battery would not hold its power capacity that great anymore for the past few years and I would always like constantly charge my laptop while I'm using it and I guess that's what contributes to the battery like kinda what do you call it? I don't know inflate <laughs> Inflate is not a good word to describe a spoiled battery, but you'll understand what I mean when I show it to you later. So let's start operating on my laptop. I've got all the screws out, so let's proceed to opening it up. First, you gotta remove the CD roll, which is this thing. Take it out. It does look pretty confusing at this point because there's so many things going on inside here. But basically, this is the battery. And let me just take it out. I need to find a way to take it out because I don't know how. Let's unscrew the screws from the battery first. So I have brought in even more shit from the toolbox. More tinier screwdrivers to try. I did it guys, I did it! <laughs> oh god, it's so puffy. Wait, let me put it side by side so you can see the comparison. So, this is the old battery, as you can see. It's quite puffy. And this is the new battery, under the sunlight. It's not puffy. See? Puffy? No puffy. Flat. Puffy. Puffy, like a life jacket. Okay? So we're gonna put a non-puffy one in. Screw all the screws back in. Yeah, I guess that's done. Let's cover it back up. Now you're gonna put the CD room back in and screw it all back together. A few moments later. And there you go, it's done. I should have used this screwdriver than this small one. This seems to be much easier. Let's turn it on and see if it works. I am tech. <laughs> By the way, I made guacamole. See, my chips. It was pretty easy though. And it tastes pretty good. I'm gonna go watch some YouTube. That's about it. For a lazy Tuesday. <laughs> oh. Bruh. Oh. Won't you look at it? Stop focusing on my face, bruh. Yeah, look at it. So good. almost 2 a.m. and I'm just gonna go and read a few pages of the book that I'm reading and yeah I'll go to bed. I accidentally had a one hour nap 
when I set an alarm for 30 minutes, but that didn't happen, you know, naps. That's all for today, and oh, I'm not focused. That's all for today. Good night. Okay, so two days ago, I was on Carousel and I was browsing some stuff. Yeah, I was just browsing. I forgot what I was browsing, but I came across um, a pair of Dr. Martens Mary Janes, which I have been eyeing for a long time for a pair of new ones, which is like 600 ringgit. But the thing is, on Zalora and Shopee and Lazada, like their official stores, it's always out of sizes. Like I don't think they restock like the sizes anymore or are they trying to discontinue the shoe? I'm not sure, but anyway, I bought a pair of Carousel. I think it's second hand. It's 220 ringgit. What a deal! Dude, unbox it! Well, I mean, I'm pretty broke. <laughs> not working and stuff. So I guess this is, I guess, a birthday gift for myself. I've bought myself two pairs of docks as a birthday gift. I think that's enough docks. Wait a minute. I better not be cheated. Eventually. <gasps> They're the real shit! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, they look so new. I'm not kidding! I've wanted these for a long time! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm gonna try them on. They fit perfectly! This is unreal. I mean, you probably can't see it, but... Don't they look freaking amazing? I mean... I've been wanting these for a long time! Look at it! So cute! Speaking about sizes, there are a lot of sellers selling like very new Dr. Martens on Carousel but apparently I think a lot of girls have small feet. It's either they have very small feet and or they have very large feet or am I just weird? Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited they fit me! Oh my god! Okay, and let's be real. It's lockdown. I'm not going anywhere. So I tape, I put the shoes back into the box and I'm keeping it up <laughs> in my wardrobe. I'm saving this for next time, you know, when everything's a little bit better. I think the camera is kind of like sing it. <laughs> I'm too lazy to grab a ladder or stand on a chair, so. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it's time for dinner and tonight I guess I'm gonna make sandwich with salad and some nuggets. It's a very random meal because I bought plant-based patties yesterday. Let me show you. This one, I saw this at Aeon like a few weeks ago. It's called Harvest Gourmet. It's a plant-based patty and the only thing that I'm curious about this is whether it tastes like meat because it's made from soy proteins and all that crap, you know. I'm gonna go cook it and I'll be back to show you. Tastes like a healthier version of meat. Pretty good though. Looking delicious. Just gonna choose a video to watch, you know, just twiggle things. What up? It's one forty AM. Yeah, 140. 
But anyways, I realized I didn't vlog much yesterday and I didn't vlog much today too because I wasn't doing anything interesting. I was just doing boring stuff like cleaning the guinea pig cage, cooking lunch, you know, and all that. And I was just editing some video on my computer and that's about it. I didn't really do much. I'm gonna try my best to give you interesting vlogs. But it's not every day that I have something interesting to do, right? I can't take it anymore. I'm going to bed. Gonna see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Today, in right now, I will be making butter cookies. If it will fail or it will succeed, I am not sure. But let's go. So I have all my ingredients here. You need 225 grams of butter, 225 grams of flour, 80 grams of cornstarch, 65 grams of icing sugar, and some salt. That's about it. But the recipe calls for unsalted butter. My mother says she likes cookies that are salty, so I'll just use salted butter. First thing you need to do is to kind of beat the butter up. Okay, so I have my butter added in, so let's beat this baby up. This should be enough. So next we're going to add in the sugar and salt. Sift it and put it in. I think it might be easier for you to see like that so I've added in the sugar and the salt so now I'm gonna beat until it's like pale so now you can see it's pale and fluffy now we're gonna add in a flour so we got the flour and the cornstarch here so basically um, I'm gonna scrape this off because we're gonna fold it in later we're not gonna whisk it anymore Just gently fold them together. Okay. I want the dough to be like this. Beautiful. And I got this. I don't know what's this, but it's like the piping back head. Camera couldn't focus, but never mind. Just gonna pop it in there. Ooh. I have never tried before. I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, it looks okay. I mean, they look pretty okay, right? I mean, although the sizes are a bit odd, but nah, who cares? It's a hexi Lego. Oh, Bella. You be a pong and try. Is it quite quick? Well, this time piping ma. Okay, one one. So yeah. Finished product looking beautiful. Okay, I mean, you can't really see them like that, but it's okay. Me two jars. Yay. Look. There's a ladybug on my hand, and it's very ticklish. Excuse me. Good morning guys, or maybe I should say good afternoon because it's 2 p.m. and I'm having some porridge, congee porridge, I don't know. I'm gonna go to my grandma's house because we're making rice dumplings today and I'm just there to make a fool out of myself. I'll make a fool, I'm there to like try to make my own dumpling, maybe just one, you know, I don't want to break the whole batch. 
And my new series has just uploaded on YouTube and IGTV. I will leave the link like on top of here if you want to go and check it out. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat and watch some YouTube. Yeah, I'll catch you later. <laughs> So it has been a while later now, I'm back from my grandma's house and I didn't manage to do any rice dumplings cause when me and my mom we arrived, she has already done doing her rice dumplings and she's already like boiling the dumplings and we just sat there and we just talk and that's about it. So I spent the rest of my evening buying some salad leaves and preparing for dinner that's about it and bought myself a scone from Coffee Bean cause I wanted a scone with butter and jam. I got so excited for a moment. Ugh, what a bummer. <laughs>